Let's talk now to architect Paul Tange, who designed the Tokyo 2020 Aquatic Center. And what is wonderful is his own father, Kenzo Tange, designed the aquatics venue for the 1964 Tokyo Games. Paul, surely you are the only father and son duo to have achieved something like this. Yes, certainly for an architect, uh, designing an Olympic venue is something very exciting. But for me, it is more meaningful and emotional. As you said, my father, Kenzo Tange, designed 1964 uh, Tokyo Olympic swimming pool. And when we have gotten the chance to design 2020 uh, Tokyo Olympic Aquatic Center, myself, my firm, we are all thrilled to do this. And I believe this is our first, uh, this is the first uh, two generation of architects designing the same similar type of uh, venue for Olympics. I'm sure you're right, Paul. What do you think your father would think of your design? Of course, uh, I, I hope he is uh, proud of uh, our design. Uh, I think it's a, a building is uh, very much, uh, uh, and also I, I believe he will be very uh, happy to see Tange legacy is continuing. Obviously, uh, he's no longer with us, but if he could be here, I would hear uh, more direct comments from him. Paul, well, where do you even begin with your creative process when you're looking at a massive legacy project like this one? Of course, I, I, I learned a, a lot of things from him because I worked with him for more than 25 years. And uh, his Olympic uh, stadium, the swimming pool, what he has tried is togetherness. What he tried to do is creating a very large roof without the column so that spectators and uh, uh, swimmers will get together and swimmer getting an energy of spectator to spectator and looking across the uh, swimming pool, get excited and so on. So this togetherness was very important. So 2020 uh, Aquatic Center, we have tried a very similar approach. Of course, the architectural design is different, but uh, idea is the same. At the same time, how people come to the uh, event and how they leave the event, we try to create urbanistic approach to make it very smooth because Olympic experience starts from the day you arrive in Tokyo, the day you leave. Each event is the same thing. Event experience starts from leaving where you are to the event space. So we took an uh, idea but of... Paul, this taking... Olympics is so different. The experience is, is so different, of course, and there won't be spectators at the Aquatic Centre. Is that sad for you that there won't be all those spectators sharing that sense of togetherness and watching the Olympians in the pool? Well, I, I think it's, of course, the disappointment is there because we created, as I said, a space for the spectators and the swimmers uh, can engage together in the Olympic experience, obviously. Uh, however, uh, given the circumstances of pandemic, and I personally lost few friends uh, on, on this period, especially one very recently. So, of course, people's uh, health is most important, so we understand that uh, necessity of safety has to be kept, so no spectators. Paul Tenge, congratulations on your project. I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing it in action with all those Olympians uh, swimming there and diving, of course, and uh, the artistic uh, swimming that takes place too. Thank you so much for joining us. That's it from us for the moment, Matthew. Back to you in the studio. Lucy, thank you.